What is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, put out all the videos that I have uh, and now this one is four videos in one essentially this was a, uh, actually gonna be four different videos but because all of these videos consist of pretty much the same thing what I decided to do is just make it all one video edit it and look at these resources we are talking like what 15 billion resources in this guy right here and let me just tell you something if you have a bank if you're gonna name your bank bank you cannot leave it unshielded like that's just <laughs> that's just not it will never be a good idea now for whatever reason during like a week stretch we were able to find like five different banks unshielded which is an amazing thing to do uh but you would think that in this in the same kingdom once you see a bank raided you were like okay well i gotta make sure that my bank is good to go all the time make sure that it's always shielded etc but it seemed like one bank would be unshielded and then that would magically make the other bank be unshielded and it was it was like a snowball <laughs> it was like a, a snowball effect I, I don't really know what was the thought process but that whole week was an amazing week for us because like I said, it was like four or five banks that we found unshielded. And with me being able to have eight different armies at the same time, that's that's a good look. Unfortunately, this one did come online just in time, but we did take a big chunk out of uh, the resources. And now, now we know that the 187 bank is actually a bank, funny enough. Now, of course, here is another bank that we found uh, completely unshielded. And we started to uh or i like to call this ant piling and look at look at all those resources oh thank you especially the gold it's really rare for you to find uh, a bank or anybody that has way more gold than everything else because like all their resources were, were around 500 million but then gold he had a, over a billion like that's not something that you usually see but that that's just perfect for us because that just means that we're able to go ahead and take all of that gold and of course me having the eight armies that i do i'm able to go ahead and collect even more by the way if you're ever raiding a bank make sure that you use your gather gear because that's gonna be uh giving you more capacity and essentially what that is going to do is let you steal more resources every time you attack so Always keep that in mind when you're going to be uh, raiding a bank or just taking resources in general for anybody. So look at this. We I, I was taking about what 15 million resources uh, every attack T times that by eight armies, and you could see how the resources were just going to uh, just skyrocket. You can tell I have already a ton of resources. What what 2.8 <laughs> like. I was already loaded with resources, so I wasn't really hurting for resources, but when a bank is wide open, you can't you can't help but go in there and take resources because maybe you don't need the resources, but you can always help a guild mate out, etc. that does need the resources. So even if you don't need it, always make it a habit to actually uh, go in there and help your guild mates out. For whatever reason, uh <laughs> Somebody came in here and tried to attack one of us while the armies were out and well he tried but uh, yeah it didn't go so well for him. But while he was preoccupied doing that we were making sure that we take all of these resources. I mean look how many people we have here. I mean what do we have like 10, 15 people give or take. I'm piling into this bank and really the main thing was the gold like 400 million of all the other resources that's, that's good and all. But when you can find a billion resources, oh yes, oh yes, it was time to get that. Look at that, 6.9, let's just call it 7 million gold each attack. That, that, that is music to my ears because gold is one of the most sought after resource in the game for T4, for research, for pretty much everything. So, for healing even, so it was an amazing find. Now here is, once again, another one. Look at those resources oh my goodness now I know that was a quick scout so if you didn't catch it go back in the video and pause it real quick so you can just see all of the resources that we're getting and like I said this was all 
within a couple days of each other so we were like okay we got another bank there was times where everybody was like oh another bank oh well whatever it, it was that many banks like all in a row it was about four or five days where we would find a bank every single day like ain't nobody hurting for resources which was hilarious so this one unfortunately uh we this is one that we were actually looking at that we have bookmarked and uh we saw that it was unshielded and it was time to pounce and pile on him that's that's essentially what it is because everybody comes in uh unfortunately on this one it wasn't just us it seems like it was posted on global chat etc and uh, other people started to come in and uh taking their resources as well so it wasn't a party of one it wasn't just us and uh, that kind of st that they stole some of our resources. Well, I mean, can can we even say that he they stole some of our resources because we were stealing their resources? But you know what I'm saying. I mean, we found it, and they just kind of came in. JK, B BSQ, all of them kind of came in. But the good thing is that they did come in a bit in the uh, at the end. So the bulk of the resources we did take. So that was the the good news on that one. But, uh, I mean, at this point, it was just like, okay, well, we have another bank, which is like, okay, whatever. And uh, here, we <laughs> we were like, okay, it's, it's already emptied out, but since my army is already out there, I might as well just let them do what they're going to do. It doesn't matter. And uh, this is the last one that uh, we were able to find. And this seems to be, like, the bank that was tied to all of the little hypers in this little mini hive, I guess you can call it. So, uh, after, after we zeroed all of them, they actually migrated out of the kingdom. Like, we stole all your resources, we took all of your leaders, and your answer was, okay, well, I'm getting the heck out of this kingdom. <laughs> like, this was the last one, so four days, four banks were raided. You would think that this guy would have known, like, okay, I should probably get my bank shielded all the time, but nope. This one actually has some troops in there so i'd make sure to uh wipe that all out and as you can tell like i was mentioning before uh you make sure that you change into your gather gear once you take care of their troops because that's gonna go ahead and give you some more resources and we were just we were just in here taking all the resources while uh while those two were just watching i don't know they're just right in front of them but now the thing is when you have a lot of resources, like I, before we, we raided all of these banks, I had maybe 400 or so million. And now I was getting up to the 700 million plus gold. Now the thing is, I'm thinking, okay, what should I do with this gold and all of these resources? Should I, uh, should I go ahead and start making some more T4? Should I focus on finishing some research? I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. What do you think I should do? Should I go ahead and uh, just focus on research or T4? I'm, I'm actually leaning towards research because I do want to get to Pact 4. And I, I have easily over a thousand days of uh, speed up. So that's something that I want to I wanna do. I just don't know exactly when to do it. So... But I appreciate you guys for watching this video that was actually going to be four, but I decided to uh, put them all together. And until later, bye.